Take him and, and as my credit shared in interest, I'm his brother, but I can tell you honestly and truly that I won't benefit from whatever his interest is. Uh, but anyway, uh, Minister, I'm glad to, to, to raise a few things with you here today because uh, while uh, Michael gave a description of a rent of a thousand uh, euros, and, and it's actually more than that at times in Killarney, there are many parts of Kerry that will not get more than 600 euros per month for rent. And if we would, if we would size that up then, and when then people probably maybe own one or two houses, they, when they pay the tax, they're left with half that, maybe less than half that. Pay the insurance, they're down around somewhere be two, to, between 250 and 300. It's not worth their while. Then the other thing is, that, that if they rent out the houses, their big worry is that they can't get them back when they want. And something has to be done about that, Minister. I have spoken to you already about it, and I know that you are very interested in doing your best in the brief that you have, and, and we'll all work with you. But something has to be done about the confidence that's not there by landowners, or landlords, I don't like calling them landlords, house, house owners. They are afraid they won't rent out because they can't get their houses back. I suggest to you, could, could the council get involved, even where people aren't on the list, that the council would rent from the house owner and the tenant would rent from the council then? Or some authority like that, that, that house owners would know that they were going to get their houses back. Then the tax-free thing that's given to or allowed to people you know, that will accommodate Ukrainians, 800, the tax-free thing should go to people trying to house our own people. Deputy Mike, Very important. Thank you. The strongest argument.